I come not to be served, but to serve, and to give my life a ransom for many. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I invite you to cast your minds back to the 6th of May of last year. It was a Saturday, a very wet and blowy, dump, blowy day, at least in London. Quite a busy day for some. One early morning headline read, I come not to be served, but to serve. Charles echoes late Queen's words as order of service for coronation is revealed. I'm sure Her Late Majesty did indeed say these words, and yes, she did say them at her own coronation. However, contrary to this headline and a way we might read it, these words aren't original to Queen Elizabeth. King Charles, of course, got it right when he announced at his coronation, in his name and after his example, I come not to serve, come not to be served, but to serve. That is, in Christ's name, and after Christ's example, I come not to be served, but to serve. We heard these words only moments ago in the Gospel reading for today. In it, we hear St. Matthew describe how, for a third time, Jesus foretells to his disciple his own passion, death, and resurrection. Jesus says to his disciples, the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and scribes, and they will condemn him to death. They will hand him over to the Gentiles to be mocked and flogged and crucified. And on the third day, he will be raised. Journeying through Lent, we are invited to be more attentive to the Stations of the Cross. The journeying of Christ through the horrors and pain of human suffering a suffering which concludes in death, but nonetheless, a journey which continues on, a journey which continues to joy in the resurrection and hope in the life to come. Jesus spoke to James and John, I come not to be served, but to serve, and to give my life a ransom for many. Jesus gives up his life for us, so that we may drink the cup, drink the cup of salvation to share in his kingdom. But characteristic of Christ's ministry, Christ challenges power, hierarchy, those who lord it over others, those who put themselves first. Discipleship, a life in Christ, a life of carrying his cross, is a challenge to serve, to serve our brothers and sisters in Christ, especially those in our local community but also those in other parts of the nation and the global wider society. Lent is not just about giving up chocolate biscuits or laying off the booze or, giving, or going off Twitter for 40 days. Though all acts of abstinence and fasting do draw us closer to God, Lent is also a time to remember Christ's challenge to his disciples and to us to serve one another a service which is grounded in the call to love one another as God loves us. And in serving one another, we will naturally grow in love and relationship with our loving and merciful Father. Jesus said, I come not to be served, but to serve. Spoken in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.